Hello dear students. So now we will move on to chapter 4 that is the one dimensional wave equations. So in this uh, the first uh, section that is 4.1 is the just the introduction it says that in this section they have to study about the one dimensional wave equation and the canonical form of the wave equation and also uh, some explicit solutions of the wave equations. So uh, we have know that the wave equation is of hyperbolic type. Okay, there b square minus ac is greater than zero. So wave equation is a hyperbolic PD. Now we will see uh, the canonical form and its general solution. And the uh, wave equation is one of the very important equations which has got much applications. So we will see. Uh, the homogeneous wave equation in one dimension. So here dimension mainly refers to the space variable. Okay. Uh, instead of x and y, we usually consider x and t. So usually t stands for y, but t here denotes the time, time dimension. So spatial around, uh, along space, the direction is x. So number of spatial, uh, number of spatial variables are called the dimension. So here you can see this is a, uh, the equation is utt minus c square uxx equal to 0. So instead of y we are taking here t. Okay. t represent time. And space variable is x only. Okay. So this is called a one dimensional wave equation. Okay. So if you add one more variable then only it will become two dimensional. Okay. This is a second order equation but it is a one dimension. Dimension is one. And we are considering it in the real line, so minus infinity to infinity. Uh, t is greater than 0 because t, of course, represents time. Here, c uh, is an element of r, it is called the wave speed. Now, we will find uh, the canonical form of this wave equation. For this, uh, we will put uh, theta equal to x plus ct and eta equal to x minus ct. Now, you know how we found this. These are the solutions of, these are the characteristics which we are obtained by solving the OD as we discussed in the last section. So here we will directly write theta and eta and we will transform our coordinate system from x, y to theta, eta. So for this we have find theta x is 1, theta t is c, eta x is 1, eta t is minus c. Now we will transform uh, u uh, to w. Well, u is a function of x and a and w is a function of theta and eta. So we have to find ut, uxx, uxx and utt and substitute in the given PD. So ut, uh, you can see that ut, uh, u is nothing but w as a function of theta and eta. So when you write ut, you will get w, w theta, theta t plus w eta, eta t. So substitute for theta t and eta t. Okay, uh, so we have theta t is c, eta t is minus c, so you get c into w theta minus w eta. Now we can write u x, u x is nothing but w theta, theta x plus w eta, eta x. Now theta x and eta x are 1, so this is equal to w theta plus w eta. Now similarly we can find u x s, which is the second derivative of u x. So we have to differentiate this once again w theta plus w eta with respect to x. So first I will take w theta, I have to differentiate w theta with respect to x. So first w theta with respect to theta, theta with respect to x, plus w theta with respect to eta, eta with respect to x. Plus now w eta, I have to differentiate w eta with respect to x. So w eta first with respect to eta, then eta with respect to x, plus w eta with respect to theta, then theta with respect to x. So eta x and eta x are 1, substitute the value here. Now we have to find u t t also. So u t t again, it is c into c can be taken outside. I have to differentiate w theta minus w eta. So w theta with respect to t I have to do. So w theta with respect to theta, theta with respect to t plus 
W theta with respect to eta, eta with respect to t minus W eta with respect to eta, eta with respect to t. Then you have the minus sign. So minus W eta with respect to theta, theta with respect to t. Substitute the value of theta t, eta t, and simplify. And substituting in the wave equation, we see that W theta eta equal to zero. So this is the canonical form of a wave equation. The wave equation we have the term containing only theta eta. So since c not equal to zero, it implies that W theta eta equal to zero. This is the canonical form of the wave equation. Now we have to solve this equation to find its solution. So when you integrate, so we can integrate this with respect to theta. So first I am integrating with respect to eta, keeping theta as constant. So I will get W theta is equal to f of theta because theta is a constant. Again integrate with respect to theta, at that time take eta as a constant. So I will get W equal to integral f of theta d theta plus g of eta. This is constant. Now, integral f of theta d theta is again a function of theta, so I will denote it by capital F of theta. So, I got W is equal to f of theta plus g of eta as the solution, where f and g are arbitrary real functions. Okay, they are elements of C2. Now, I have to substitute for theta, eta and w. w, when I treat as a function of x and y, it, x and t, it is u. So u of x t equal to f of x plus c t plus g of x minus c t. So this is the solution of the wave equation. This is the solution of the one dimension wave equation. It is a general solution. Now um, we can see that if u is a solution then corresponding to u there exists two real function f and g which will satisfy equation 1. And conversely, if there exists two function f and g in C2, will satisfy these two, uh, this equation, then their combination, their sum, which we denoted by u, will be a solution of the wave equation. Okay. So here we have to uh, note certain things. The first point is that g, g of x minus theta, it represents a wave which moves to the right with the velocity c. And uh, since it moves to right, we call it as a forward wave. Also, the function f of x plus ct also represents a wave, but its direction is different because here we have plus c. It goes to left with the same speed c. This uh, speed is same. The thing is that this goes to right and this goes to left. And uh, c is called the speed of that wave. This is a wave speed. So we can see that uh, we have written equation 1, which is a solution of the wave equation. So 1 is a forward wave, and uh, one is, this is the forward wave, and this is the backward wave. So it means that the solution of the wave equation is sum of two such waves. Two waves are traveling in different direction, and their sum is the solution of the wave equation. Now, uh, this f, uh, sometimes what happens is uh, this function, uh, equation number 1 is also called a generalized solution of the wave equation. Because uh, this u need not always uh, you know, twice differentiable. Okay. So, it, sometimes it ha may happen that f and g are only piecewise continuous function. But they satisfy equation 1 also. So, this is called a generalized solution of the wave equation. And we have the two families of lines that is x minus ct equal to constant and x plus ct equal to constant. They are called the characteristics of the wave equation. And uh, they are nothing but, uh, you can see they are nothing but straight lines with slopes plus or minus 1 by c. Uh, that you can see because here t represents y. So this is of the form x plus So, it is of the form x plus cy equal to a constant. So, it is x plus cy equal to a constant. It is of this form. So, you know that if I write y equal to mx plus c, then m is the slope. Okay. So, from here, I can see that the slopes are plus or minus 1 by c.
Now we will see one problem. Example 4.1. Let u be a solution of the wave equation u t t minus t square u x x equal to 0, which is defined in the whole plane. Assume that u is constant on the line x equal to 2 plus c t. Then prove that u t plus c u x equal to 0. Now we know uh, the solution of the wave equation is given by equation number 1. So it is nothing but uh, u equal to f of x plus c t plus g of x minus c t. Now it is given that u is constant on the line x equal to 2 plus c t. So when you put x equal to 2 plus c t, so u of 2 plus c t comma t is a constant. Now when I substitute this in equation number 1, we, from equation number 1, I have u of x t is f of x plus c t plus g of x minus c t. So, what is u of 2 plus c t comma t? So, instead of x, I have to take 2 plus c t and, and t uh, same as t. So, this become f of x plus c t. So, instead of x, you have 2 plus c t plus c t. So, it will be 2 plus 2 c t plus uh, g of x minus ct. So, it will be 2 plus uh, ct minus ct. So, it will be 2. So, if I uh, use equation number 1, I will get f of 2 plus 2 ct plus g of 2 equal to a constant. Now, we know g of 2 is already a constant. So, it combines with this constant. So, I will get f of 2 plus 2 ct is a constant. If I denote this 2 plus 2 ct by s, I am getting f of s is a constant. Here, s is a variable. Okay, because t varies. So, it implies that f is constant. So, I will get f of x plus c t is also a constant. So, since it is a constant, it combines with g. So, in equation number 1, I have to write only g because here f is a constant. Okay, so I will get u equal to g of x minus c t. Uh, in equation number 1, f is a constant, so it combines with g. So, I have to write only g. So, u is g of x minus ct. Now, I got u like this. Now, I have to prove this. You have to see what is ut plus cux. Now, uh, you do ut plus cux. So, ut means it is derivative of this. g dash of x minus ct. Derivative is with respect to t. So, here you will get minus c. Plus uh, g dash of x minus ct. Derivative with respect to x. So, uh, here you have... Um, 1 but here c is there so this c we can see that this sum is 0 and hence we have proved that ut plus c u x equal to 0 so here uh, section 4.2 ends here okay